Okay, so I built a Lego Minecraft gaming PC and I'm about to show you all the different ways I turn it on. I'm in the process of starting the next build, which will be the Minecraft tutorial world, with my computer built into it of course. More on that later. I also built this setup in Minecraft. I'll show you that in this video as well. But for now, I'm getting hung up on the power button because it's like one of my favorite parts of each build. And I've received a lot of suggestions on what to do next to include what I think is the ultimate power switch. In the comments, let me know which one of these buttons is your favorite or what you want me to build next. So let's dive right into it. Starting off with the TNT block, this was part of the previous build and a really awesome idea brought to you by Chris2JZ on Instagram. The Overseer VR suggested I make it light up when I turn it on, so I made that happen too. It's overall one of my favorite power buttons. Next up, Britty asked me for a lever, so I built a lever. Pretty simple build and honestly a fun way to turn the PC on. The Snuffy, Pet World Official, and James Edwards said to hook it up to the TNT. Awesome idea guys, another fun switch. Now for a pressure plate. Toy Bonnie, Dummy, Goku the Boy, some dude named User, and Sarah suggested this. Another awesome idea and I had to connect it to the TNT block. The Stupid Demon and, sorry if I mispronounce any of your names, Plan I'm Easy Films asked for a redstone block and it turned out real nice with the transparent red bricks. Another solid suggestion. Next up is the Herobrine power button. I did a poll where the majority voted yes, so I made it happen. Just ahead for now. I don't have the correct colored bricks for the body at the moment. Colby316 asked for a redstone torch like three times, so of course I had to give it a shot. Sorry, I wasn't able to put it on top of the TNT block. Next up, Cade asked for a creeper, so once again, I built one. But just ahead for now as well. I'm running super low on green bricks to finish the body. I may get back to this later. Now for the ultimate power switch. Well, in my opinion, it's the ultimate. A piston and lever. I'm surprised no one asked for this, but I ran a poll where the piston and lever won, and I had to make a switch with movement. In the future, I plan to build a furnace, requested by VR Goofball, a trap chest, requested by Wheat Blocks, a crafting table, and whatever else you ask for that I'm able to build. Holy Jesus Christ, dude, love your name, has asked me every day to build a button on a button for the power switch. That sounds like a lot of fun and awesome idea, and it's something that I'll do in the near future. Thanks, dude. Now for the Mario portal featured in my last video. Most of you voted for Area 2, but I also received a lot of comments for Area 3, so I built the Mario world in both areas. So this is the way I see it working. Steve goes through this portal and becomes Mario defeat some bosses, then becomes Steve again after entering the nether portal. This was a lot of fun to integrate Mario with Minecraft, and I appreciate all your feedback. Now for some Minecraft gameplay. I built this PC setup in Minecraft, and it turned out pretty good. Could have been better, but I learned a valuable lesson. Build this setup in real life and in the game at the same time to scale it. There's too much room on the other side of the river. The Pillager Castle, TNT Block, and Villager Market are not to scale. And honestly, everything is off to scale somewhat. This will always be an issue because there's basically no way to build a one by one or one by two or one by anything block in the game. All my Lego builds in real life would basically have to be a two by something, two by two, two by four, whatever. I almost forgot to build a sword on the backdrop, but when I did, I realized it wasn't the scale either. In one of my previous videos, I stuffed the TNT block with TNT and accidentally destroyed this map before I could finish. Did I hear someone ask to blow it up in this video? Cause that's exactly what we're gonna do next. So I refilled the TNT block of TNT and let's light it up. Now it's time to take apart the Lego setup and start on the next build, the Minecraft tutorial world. First area I'm going to do is the entrance area. Then after that, I'm going to do the village behind it and then build the castle. These will be on three separate tables. I don't have room to put all of it on one. So I have a lot of work and organizing to do before I start on it. In the meantime, I'll bring you more shorts with other power options and keep you updated on the progress as I build this. 
I appreciate everyone's advice, suggestions, and feedback so far. And if I wasn't able to build your suggestion, it's probably because I don't have the Lego bricks I need or it simply wasn't possible. Please keep adding your suggestions in the comments because it's a lot of fun to build whatever you ask for. For the remainder of this video, enjoy the time lapse of me taking apart the setup. And then I'll see you next time with progress on the Minecraft tutorial world. One eternity later.